Good morning. Today we will learn how to value a bond that gives an annual coupon and how to calculate the Macaulay's duration of the bond. As we all know, the value of any asset in finance is the present value of the future cash flow. So first, I am going to compute the future cash flow that we are going to receive on the bond, which is an annual coupon. We will receive this annual coupon for the life of the bond, assuming that the bond does not default and we will receive the face value of the bond at the end of the life. We are going to discount these coupons at the yield to maturity of the bond. And notice how I use the absolute reference. The sum of the discounted cash flow is the value of the bond, 931.34. What proportion of this 931.34 we receive in the first year? We calculate that 11.3% and the bulk of the cash flows that we are getting, we are getting at the end of the life of the bond. And now we are going to calculate the proportion into the year. I'm getting my 11% of the cash flows in year one. So on and so forth. I'm going to add this. I get the Macaulay's duration of the bond. Four years. This represents the average time it takes for me to receive the cash flows promised on the bond. Now, both the value of the bond and the Macaulay's duration are very sensitive to the yield. The yield drops means the price of the bond has gone up. That's why the yield has dropped. The yield increases. The price of the bond has fallen. That's why the yield has increased. So the value of the bond and the Macaulay's duration is very sensitive to changes in the yield of the bond which is what we will do now. We will calculate what happens if my yield changes by 100 basis points. What happens to the firstly value of the bond and the Macaulay's duration of the bond. I'm going to use a data table and I'm going to in the yield to maturity. Notice I get the Macaulay's duration when the yield to maturity changes, bond value when the yield to maturity changes. This entire exercise can also be done using this formula. So we can do this in one cell, calculate the value of the bond in this just one cell. And I'm going to use this formula. So the coupon, 1 plus yield to maturity, raised to the power of life, divided by yield to maturity, plus face value, divided by 1 plus yield to maturity, raised to the power of the life of the bond. So I get the same 931. I have used the formula that I have put in here to calculate the value of the bond. Thank you.